be having lots of lovely stuff. We are going to have... Establish my covenant with you. Into the world and to do something like build an ark like the God. God. He's all knowing. That means he knows everything. everything. He went he knows ahead. Everything. He knows tomorrow. An ark. Like I'm so silly. silly. Like you're, you're so silly. Out. Like you're so. But guess what? You know you just did all the same. Right. So and never went feel pressure to do the wrong thing. Never feel like you have to follow others. Never feel. and girls welcome back to the solid rock children's church it's good to have you here once again how has it been how is it going back to school after a long time how are you finding school i hope it's not too you know strange uh we're in strange times but thank god you know for the love of god thank god for the assurance of his protection you know over you boys and girls and um well we are still going to continue our online church uh, because I can see a lot of children are benefiting from this and we really want to, you know, be a blessing to as many children, you know, that connect on this platform. Uh, don't forget you are, to share, you know, the link with your friends that don't attend the Solid Rock Church. And um, also don't forget to make sure that you tell one of, or two of your friends, you know, since you're back to school now, you know, be a blessing to your friends and um, today's lesson is going to be taken from the book of first samuel first samuel chapter 3 so first samuel chapter 3 make sure you read this uh, bible passage It's a very interesting one and um, you're going to be learning a lot today and another thing i'm going to tell you is we have line of, of, of activities today. We have the worship, we have the quiz, we have, um, you know, uh, story time, and then we have a lesson at the end of it. And remember, the homework is always at the back, at the very end of this program. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure you finish the uh, video, you know, so that you will be able to get your prize if you complete the assignment and your answers are correct. Thank you, and I'll see you at the lesson. Now let's go into a time of worship. Yeah. 
Holy Ghost, shall I'm ready to the whole world knows your love, your love. Come set me on a holy fire. for our memory verse. Hi, my name is Joanne. Today I'm going to be doing a memory verse. 1 Samuel 3, 11 to 13. Then the Lord said to Samuel, I'm going to do something shocking in Israel. I'm going to carry all the threats against Eli and his family from beginning to end. I have warned him that judgment will be against his family forever because his sons are blaspheming about God and he hasn't given them discipline. Stories of the Bible. God speaks to Samuel. This is Samuel. Hi! Samuel was the son of Hannah. Hey, Samuel! Hannah prayed for God to give her a son and God did. So Hannah gave Samuel back to God. See you, Samuel. Bye, Mom. And Samuel grew up in the temple serving under Eli, the priest. Hi, Eli. As Samuel grew up, he learned how to serve God from Eli. Samuel. 
Samuel lived in the house of God, but he did not know God or what God's voice sounded like. In those days, messages from God were rare. But one night after Eli had gone to bed, Samuel was sleeping in the tabernacle when suddenly God called out, Samuel! Huh? Samuel got up and ran to Eli and said, Did you call me? Not me. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel did. Then God called out again, Samuel. Huh? And again, Samuel got up and ran to Eli asking, Did you call me? Not me. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel did. God called Samuel for a third time, Samuel. Huh? And Samuel went to Eli yet again. Hmm. After three times, Eli realized that God was trying to speak to Samuel. So Eli taught Samuel to say, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Okay. Samuel went back to bed, and God came and called as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, your servant is listening. God told him many things about what would happen to Israel. As Samuel grew up, God was with him, and everything God spoke through Samuel came true. Samuel was seen as a great prophet of God because he could hear the voice of God and he listened when God spoke to him. Welcome back boys and girls. How did you find that lesson? I found it very interesting and I have learned a lot from the lesson also. Uh, this week we are learning actually from uh, a book in the Old Testament, 1 Samuel chapter 3. And as you can see in that story, God called the boy Samuel, who did not even recognize the voice of God. You see, God can use anybody. Boys and girls, don't you ever think that God cannot use you, because he can. But you need to make sure that you are able to recognize the voice of God. And for you boys and girls, God might not speak to you, you know, like he spoke to Samuel. It might be that God will speak to you through his word. And this is why it's so important, boys and girls, that you study the word of God. In those days, you know, the Bible says that the word of God was scarce. So it means that God was not speaking to the uh, priest you know, to the prophet like he used to. But God decided to speak to Samuel in order to give him a message to the priest at the time, Eli. God gave him a message regarding what he was doing wrong. You know, Eli was a priest and he had children who were going against the will of God. They were actually, you know, committing the sin of blasphemy. And you know, in that story, as you could see, God used Samuel to uh, get a message across to Eli what he was going to do. Because God has corrected Eli before. Because according to that story, you know, Eli did not correct his children at all. They were going wayward. They were doing things that were contrary to, to, the, to, the, you know, to what God wants. And God had to, you know, bring judgment on them. And God used Samuel, a little boy, you know, to pass this message on. So what have you learned from this story? I have learned that God can use you. God can use me. He can use anybody. He can speak through anybody if you position yourself. So boys and girls, don't play with all these lessons that we are teaching you. Don't play with studying the word of God. And you know what? Make sure that when you are having your Bible classes uh, in your home, maybe your mom and dad sometimes do Bible lessons with you, make sure you pay attention. Because God can speak to you in every way and in every form. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 5, it says, Before you were formed in your mother's womb, he knew you. He has actually, he has a plan for you to be a prophet 
unto nations. And it, 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 that applies to every one of us. Everyone. Children, you know, uh, young ones, adults. God has a plan for you, boys and girls. So make sure that you study the word of God, boys and girls. And God bless you. I'll see you next time. Make sure you do the assignment at the end of this story. And make sure that you fight, go and, you know, uh, read the word of God in the book of First Samuel, chapter 3. God bless you. Hi, boys and girls. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Are you all ready for a Bible quiz questions? Let's get started. Question 1. 1 Samuel 3 verse 1. When the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord, the word of the Lord was rare and there was no frequent what? A. Miracle B. Prophecy C. Vision D. Earthquake If you answered C. Vision, it is correct. Question 2 1 Samuel 3 verse 2 Whose eyesight was going dim so that he could not see? A. Eli B. Samuel C. Hophni D. Phinehas The answer is A. Eli Question 3 1 Samuel 3 verse 3 One night the lamp of God had not yet gone out and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord where what was kept? A. The treasury B. The scared scrolls C. The ark of God D. The ark of Noah The answer is C the Ark of God. Question 4. 1 Samuel 3 from 4 to 8. As Samuel was lying down in the temple, how many times did he go to Eli after he heard his own name being called? A. 1 B. 2 C. 3 D. 4 The answer is C, three times. Question 5. 1 Samuel 3 verse 9. When Samuel heard his name called again, what did Eli tell him to say? A. The Lord is my rock and shield. B. Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. C. Your word. Lord is my command. D. Quaker meeting has begun. The answer is B. Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. Question 6. 1 Samuel 3 verse 11. The Lord told Samuel he was about to do a thing in Israel which would make the ears of everyone who heard it do what? A. Go deaf B. Twitch C. Ring D. Tingle If you answered D. Tingle, it is correct. Question 7 1 Samuel 3 from 12 to 13 the lord would punish the house of eli forever for the iniquity that he knew because of his sons were blaspheming god and eli did not do what a atone for them b rebuke them c pray d restrain them The answer is D. Restrain them. I hope you all enjoyed that. 
So let's get down to do some homework. Question 1. 1 Samuel 3 verse 14. The iniquity of Eli's house could not be atoned for by what? Two things. A. Sacrifice or offering. B. Prayer or fasting. C. Prayer or offering. D. Sacrifice or fasting. Question 2. 1 Samuel 3 verse 15. How did Samuel feel about telling the vision from the Lord to Eli? A. Sad. B. Afraid. C. Amazed. D. Confused. Question 3. 1 Samuel 3 verse 18. What did Eli say after Samuel told him the vision from the Lord? A. It is the Lord. Let him do what seems good to him. B. The Lord has spoken. I am an unworthy servant. C. This cannot happen. I must pray to the Lord. D. May the Lord have mercy on me and my house. Question 4 1 Samuel 3 verse 20 All Israel from Dan to Beersheba knew that Samuel was established as a what? A. King of Israel B. Servant of the priest C. Prophet of the Lord D. Priest of Baal Question 5 1 Samuel 3 verse 21 The Lord appeared and revealed himself to Samuel in the temple at what place? A. Samaria B. Siloam C. Shechem D. Siloam The first correct answer in gets a gift in church. So ask your parents to use the church email address, which is kidszone at solidrockdublin.org to submit your answers. Now let's welcome Kirthi to give us some notices. You guys had an amazing week. We have an announcement for you, so listen carefully. So whoever answers to the questions and sends it on time and uh, sends their homework also on time will receive a special prize. In order to claim your prize, send your answers as well as your homework to admin at solidrockdublin.org.
but I will establish my covenant with you. Need to do something like you that our father like that God, God is all knowing. That means He knows everything. everything. He went he knows ahead. Everything. And he knows tomorrow. An art. Like I'm so telling silly. You, like you're, you're, you're so silly. out. Like you're so guess a, what? You know you're just made all the same. Right. So and never went feel pressure to do the wrong thing. Never feel like you have to follow others. Never feel. Like